We're doing a little R&D work today on some John Deere Paraquad direct drive C4 hubs. And the main purpose of today's video is, is really talk about part number and, and, and quote updates. So first, let me say that a new part number does not mean that there was an update. It just means there was a change. Could even be a change in manufacturer. We see it all the time where the same uh, axle shaft bearing has a different OEM part number, but when you go to Timken or Koyo or whoever made the bearing, it's the same manufacturer number. So here, what we're we're talking about is uh, on these these drives drive hubs. <clears throat> you cannot buy the older you cannot buy the older part number. I don't even want to call it the older style. It's the older part number. So, if you're working on a 100, 10, 20 series power quad and you're capable of doing the repair, sometimes the upgrade, besides does it make sense, it's also costly because if you have to upgrade, say, this C4, sometimes you have to upgrade the sun gear. So then when you upgrade the sun gear, you got to upgrade planetary gears. Well, then you upgrade planetary gears, you got to upgrade the pinion shaft. Pinion shaft leads to carrier which leads to more it's just a it's like a never-ending piece so here if you're going to do the repair on yours and you're capable of doing that instead of giving us a oem number which would lead us here the mark number off of it will lead us here so the difference between the two here This has got a bushing made on it. This does not have a bushing made on it, but you can put the bushing on it. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but that's how they've done it. The early number on the top cover is recessed and it's flat here. So the difference is, it's the same difference in the springs. So longer spring, recessed housing, Shorter spring, no recessed housing. Also how the, as a combo, they are a little different there. But this design here was used for 20, 30, 40, 50, 55 and 60 series power shifts. Um, this is a little new to me, so I'm not quite sure on that one, but Anyway, they use the same amount of clutch disc, same amount of steel disc. It's got the same exact piston number in it by marked. What does go wrong with these is your clutch will cut into your splines. And then over time, what'll happen is your clutch will get hung up and it'll burn up your planetary. So, or it'll burn up your forward. So older series, mark number is way more important than the part number. It helps us uh, we're, when we're doing a complete reman transmission. If the update makes sense, excuse me, if it is an update, then we're always going to update to the new style, which means we'll have a surplus of the older ones. But to make this work, we're going to know that we have to have the springs. We have to have the pins. We have to have the right bolts. You know, the clutch discs are the same, so that won't matter. And anybody that's rebuilding their own would put their own, whether they go put new discs in or not. So, so this is a piece we can sell just like this and um, save you some money versus buying this, this, and this piece.